we should be, we are being asked to be. Wales, the cluster of universities, the networks we've got, the way we work is very attractive once it's made visible to places. That's the bit that seems to be missing. So I'm often, and I'm sure my colleagues are, cold calling in these regions. Okay? And once you do make a presentation, this is Wales, this is how the universities and the partners work, and this is how we work closely with government. In this case, I was looking, I was expounding new developments in veterinary science, new to Wales, that we're developing at Avarice with, with partners, with, including government. Uh, people are impressed by the way of working and the calibre of what can be done here and want to invest back through partnerships. You mentioned the GCRF and the Global Challenges Research Fund. Again, competitive, benchmarked by excellence, UK-wide, but we are competing very well in this because we are able to network very quickly and bring our networks into those networks quickly. It is the advantage we've had. I started off with maybe a bit too high for Lucid, but that's, I, I truly believe this is a sale, selling pitch for Wales and a strength that we should build on. Not just the excellence, but the network of excellence that we have. What is missing, and it relates back to London offices and all the rest of it, is the visibility. If you travel the world, Scotland and Ireland have been there doing it well, and so has Finland and Denmark as well, and we are not doing that. This relates to QR and the university is able to put people on a plane or, uh, or just as importantly receive, invite and receive visitors and host them, including captains of industry and the like. That's the piece that's missing. And just to relate back earlier, the lack of investment that you were talking about, uh, Beth Ann's conversation, this is going to slow us down. It, it is regrettable that there's not this forward investment being excited, and it relates to the vision. Are we going to be a global leader or not? We are now, and we soon won't be unless we pick up the pace.